This video is brought to you by healthhype.com. Always consult with your doctor about any symptoms you may be experiencing. Never change your prescribed treatment without medical advice and supervision. Fiber is an important part of any healthy diet. Unfortunately most of us do not get enough of it. A modern diet high in processed foods is one of the main reason that dietary fiber intake may be lower than necessary. We know that constipation is closely linked to a low fiber intake but there are many other benefits of fiber. There are two types of fiber. Soluble fiber that comes from fresh fruit and vegetables as well as grains. Insoluble fiber that is mainly found in the bran or round grains. Both types of fiber are necessary. Ideally the soluble to insoluble fiber consumption should be in a 3 to 1 ratio. Food scientists believe that this differentiation should not be a concern for most people as long as sufficient fiber of any type is consumed. We source all our fiber from plant foods and sometimes from supplements. The human body cannot absorb fiber so it remains in the gut. Soluble fiber dissolves in the water within the gut. Insoluble fiber does not. The fiber remains undigested and is eventually passed out with the stool. However, it plays several important roles during its time within the gut. Let us look at the benefits of both soluble and insoluble fiber in the body. Soluble fiber dissolves in the water within the gut to turn into a gel-like consistency. It helps to soften stool. This fiber also helps with lowering cholesterol by reducing fat absorption from foods. It also assists with regulating the blood sugar levels as it slows the breakdown of food within the gut. Insoluble fiber cannot be digested, does not dissolve in water and is not absorbed into the body. It helps to bulk up stool. This plays an important role in treating and preventing constipation. One of the main benefits of insoluble fiber is to regulate bowel habit. Any healthy eating plan should contain a sufficient amount of dietary fiber. There are some foods that are considered to be high in fiber but fiber is present to some degree in almost all plant foods. Let us look at some of these high fiber foods. At the top of the list of high fiber foods are fruits and vegetables. We have all heard of pectin and cellulose, which are abundant in crunchy plant foods like carrots, celery, apples, oranges and mangoes but even soft fruits like bananas and berries have fiber. Next on the list of high fiber foods are the whole grains. These are grains that contain bran and germ. Both bran and germ are usually removed when grains are refined. Therefore breads, pasta and cereals containing whole grains are a better option when more fiber is required. The modern diet is abundant in foods made of flour. However, white flour is low in fiber. This is a problem with most refined grains and legumes. Whole wheat bread and other flour-based products are widely available these days. Use whole wheat flour when baking or at least substitute a portion of the white flour with whole wheat flour for a higher fiber option. In line with choosing unrefined or less refined grains and legumes, brown rice should be chosen over white rice. Brown rice has 4 to 5 times more fiber than white rice. As many as 1 in 2 people in developed nations believe that meat has some fiber. This is incorrect. There is no fiber in any meat although it may be abundant in other essential nutrients. A better high protein and high fiber option are beans and legumes. This does not mean that meat should be avoided altogether but rather it should be consumed in small quantities. Large amounts of high fiber foods should be eaten alongside meat dishes. This video presentation was brought to you by healthhype.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for updates on our latest health videos. You can also visit our website to read a range of medical articles. Always consult with a medical professional about any of your symptoms.